uh, as a I was a Marxist mm -hmm. party, mm -hmm. and I will imagine a Marxist yourself. Yes. What is your understanding of self-determination? Is it something that you feel is legitimate? Not necessarily with, within the framework of Sri Lanka, but self-determination. Self-determination? Who's self-determination? Good question. That, is, that leads to my second question, yes. which is a follow-up. Do you believe in the Tamil's right for self-determination no. in Sri Lanka? No. Self because this is this, this right. A right is not uh, extra-historical. It is historical. Mm. Right? Today's right is not tomorrow's right. Mm -hmm. So, right to self-determination is, is enjoyed by nations. Mm. Uh, to separate from, to liberate themselves from imperialism, mm. not otherwise. Mm. So the concept of internal self-determination is, no, is not in the vocabulary no, of JVP, no, no, and you don't agree with no. that? No, because uh, there's nothing called internal self-determination. What you believe is that in this country and in all the other countries, mm. we, we denounce separatism. Separatism is not going to solve the... the, the but you make a link between separatism and secessionism and internal self-determination. Exactly. You exactly. feel that I, it exactly. internal leads exactly. to... Exactly. Exactly. Right. This is separatism because the, the, we don't uh, recognize this as the right of self-determination self of nations. And doesn't apply, you feel, to This is not a separate nation. Tamils, Tamils in this country, or, or the Muslims, or the Sinhalese, mm. are not separate nations. All are comprising, Sri Lankan nation is comprised of all these, all these nationalities. All three communities. All I, un three I understand that. I was, I was doing a spot of research, and this has always been a question that has uh, interested me. I, I cannot find any other uh, communist, Marxist, leftist party um, in the world, and maybe you can come up with an example and educate uh, the audience, that is opposed to um, power sharing within a unitary constitution and country mm -hmm. uh, to solve a question such as that we have here. Uh, to to create a separate state? No, to address what are legitimate grievances that you exactly. said. Exactly, there's there's a way of addressing legitimate grievances. Mm. What are the grievances? Mm. What are the grievances? I will tell you. One, for example, look at our our constitution, the existing constitution today. Today, even if you uh, if you read the constitution, go to chapter four. Chapter four is on languages. Chapter four. Clause number one is, Sinhalese is the official language of this country, mm. of Sri Lanka. Mm. What is clause number two? Clause number two is, Tamil is also mm. an official language of this country. Mm -hmm. So that itself shows uh, there's discrimination. Why can't, why can't they include both languages in the same clause? Mm. Sinhalese and Tamil mm. are the Official languages so do you think that uh, going into the future, addressing the language issue might help uh, in a foundation for reconciliation? With very, good, very good question. We don't recognize official language. State cannot have a language. Mm. Sta state cannot have a uh, religion. State is secular. Mm. We believe in secular state. Mm. Secular. Uh, now, if we, if we crown one language or the other language, then we are going to have problems. Mm. Uh, that is what ha happened in, in 1950s. Mm. So that is not the that is not the policy of the JVP. Mm -hmm. Our policy is to recognize all three languages, Sinhala, Tamil, and English as national languages. Anyone can uh, anyone can learn all three languages or any one of the three languages. He can get his education in any any one of the languages yeah. or, or in all three languages. He can work anywhere in any of the three languages. So, I, I, I want to link that to your opposition to uh, the APRC as a process, mm -hmm. but also more specifically the 13th Amendment as a constitutional yes. uh, clause that you have been uh, for a very long time 
opposed to two weeks ago I had Mr. Tisavitarna sitting yes. where you are sitting mm -hmm. uh, and I asked him the question of course uh, then there was in the media uh, the suggestion made I think by your party or maybe by you yourself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that the APRs needed to be disbanded that it was exactly. an unethical uh, exactly. process. Mr. Vitarna of course had his own perspective in this regard and said that quite firmly the APRC is a local national indigenous mechanism mm -hmm. uh, and that the JVP is it's absurd for you to suggest that uh, Anything that comes out of it, yeah. uh, it will not meet uh, the demands uh, in a post-war Sri Lanka to address the constitutional reform necessary. Now, yes. uh, this has on been ongoing. I, I don't want to revisit old terrain, okay. but I want to ask you, why really are, is the JVP and you yes. opposed to the 13th Amendment as an anchor that we can build upon uh, some kind of uh, uh, thing that is workable? Yes. From where did we get 13th Amendment? It's from India. It is haphazardly drafted very bad piece of legislation in this country. Very bad piece of legislation. What has happened after that? But Mr. Vitarna's mm -hmm. answer to that was that it was actually passed by Parliament of the day. <laughs> passed by the Parliament, all right. But look at uh, yes, if I if if I can recollect yes, uh, in the constitutional courts. Uh, when it was it was taken into consideration, there was a division. There was a division on on uh, devolution of power, mm. uh, 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 devolution of land power and uh, police powers. There was a division. Why? Why there was a division? Yes, I'm asking. I must confess. Wait. Now, now please wait until I I, I complete my 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 answer. Now, Thirteenth uh, Amendment. From where did you get it? It was imposed by India on this country by force, by force, by force, uh, while, while, uh, while invading this country. After invading this country, there was, there was uh, the, the so-called IPKF was there, and uh, uh, you know what has happened during that time. So, uh, so the, uh, Mr. Dixit was the let's, let's, was the let's, was the let's, governor of this we, country. We know what what how the 13th Amendment came about. Mm -hmm. Let us then take away the 13th Amendment. Mm -hmm. Is the JVP also opposed to any form of power uh, devolution within a unitary country, such as that we have I in China? You, in I'll tell you, this is, this is a joke. You know why? To have a unitary state and at the same time to devolve power, mm. impossible impossible this is nonsense mm. can you can you can you have can you boil the egg also i mean can you prepare the omelet without breaking the egg no, but the chinese seem to be pretty good at doing that because they have what's what 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 i what i read to be regional ethnic autonomy within the unitary system exactly we are we are also we stand by uh, decentralization of administration mm. That is what the people need. Mm -hmm. Devolution of power. Power comes from where? Mm -hmm. Power comes from people. People give the power to the to the to the government, mm -hmm. to the president, and they expect in return. What do they expect? Not the power. Uh, democracy. Uh, uh, national security. Integrity of this country national unity and uh, good governance these are the things that they uh, they expect uh, the president to deliver or the president or the government they are the people who give power they are the people who have power so decentralization not devolution no no decentralization of administration with funds not without funds with funds so 13th amendment with an, in another it name it won't work it won't work no it, it has been there for the last uh, could 20 argue years. That no government has really made it work. Uh, no, you know why? It cannot be made to hmm. work. It cannot be made so to work. So you're saying it's a dysfunctional because, piece because, of legislation. Exactly, exactly. Hmm. That must be that must be dissolved. That must be uh, that must be thrown in. Would it's it not it's good enough sense to engage? It's good enough to be thrown into the dustbin. Hmm. 